So in this video, I want to show you a quick gacha when you're trying to export with transparency to your final image away from Asapite and the shadows don't work or your partially transparent pixels aren't working correctly. So you probably already know how you can draw with partially transparent pixels just by using this slider down here at the bottom. So if you move your color towards the left at the bottom section where you have the checkered background, uh, then that's going to make it more transparent and all the way to the right will make it a solid color. So somewhere in between and you'd get a result like this shadow here. You just need to select your base color and shift it towards the level of transparency you want. And then you can use that to fill in your shadow color, which is nice because then you'll still be able to see the background color showing through. It won't just completely cover everything. And the other way is that you can change it by double clicking on the layer and lowering the opacity down and that'll apply to every pixel on that layer. Now usually this will work fine when you export but if you go to sprite color mode and this is set to indexed then all the pixels that have partial transparency are actually going to be exported with full color full alpha. So let me show you how that looks if I go to file export let's just export this test cube open it up on the desktop and then you can see that gray has reverted back to having full opacity. So what you need to do is make sure that your sprite color mode is set to RGB color. And then when you actually do file export as a PNG and then export, it'll actually include the partial transparency of those pixels. So just make sure that you're in sprite color mode RGB. And another possible reason why when you export the transparency doesn't work is you have to make sure that when you go to file export, you are choosing a format like PNG, which does support an alpha channel uh, when you export to your final image. If instead you export it as a JPEG, then every pixel would be filled with a color because JPEGs just don't support transparency. So that's really all there is to it. Make sure you sprite color mode RGB, and then you can either draw with the partial transparency and the color selection, kind of like so. You can see the green showing there. Or you can double click on the layer and just lower the opacity down to the level you want. You might even be able to create something interesting by playing around with the color modes, but that's not necessary. So that's it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see all of you in my future video content.